such carnage oh, I've own. never seen. That twisted bishop must pay the devil his due. What news? We have learned that Herefrith occupies a fort at Anacastra, south of here. An eager fear awaits my voice to lead him into battle. Will you ride with us? I've gone some days without a proper siege. Lead on. To the camp, then, and onward to Anacastra. Follow, if you will. Yeah. Herefrith was a friend of my father's and always so oh. dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Von Wald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The den of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrick were so close. Oh, the world the most fail as though the devil lady himself lady attacked her monastery. A poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. We are the men of Lincolnshire! I'm assuming Hunwald would have taken the lead on this. Our camp is just here. When the feared is ready, we'll attack with speed. The sooner the better. Head of faith will entrench deeper with every passing hour. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain okay. Eivor, can we win this battle with a small number you see assembled here? If they fight as strongly as they smell, we'll claim victory. Then we'll have no cause for worry. We should attack soon before the bishop can muster more troops. What do you think, Eivor? We attack now. Ready the field. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Mm. Get busy. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Look out! Shields up! Come <laughs> on. 
Bishop. You point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scab was coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment.
Thank you for your time. It's a respite, Lord, please. Our battle is lost. Look at who this guy is, because I mean we didn't get to do it. We did it in the main story, so that's fine. Uh, the Crozier was approached by a member of the Order when he was only a young churchgoer. He found purpose in spreading their message throughout Wessex before reaching the rank of Priest. At which point he returned to his home of Lincolnshire, a land absence of authority and direction. There he took advantage of fragile political hierarchy and gained power over the disenfranchise tries using them to fulfill the order's agenda. Where is he then? Is it, wait, where, where's this guy? I'm confused. Where, where is he then? Ah, there he is. Fair enough. Oh, that has led me closer to this guy. I still have to kill this guy, and then I should have enough clues to get this guy. Very nice. I died the day I hid behind these robes this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Heravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Good. The same place where I found the body. possessed by a demon today. Herefrid may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. Shame Hunwald was not fit to don his father's boots, but he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. 
I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. We are bonded now, your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask you? Well, could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her. And to me. Of course you may. We'd be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming dame. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Ah, so no, it seems the wind calls me back to Ransby. Let's tell her the good news. I'm curious, where can I find this man? Taking him out, I should be able to find the location of the next guy. <laughs> then we will pull back to Van V and then we we'll call it a session. Find the or at least see who the big top magistrate guy is. Anyway, that'd be quite interesting. No! Whether really he can fight or he's just a quick kill. Recognize me and just be like, if I go to fight them, will fight me? I wonder, or. The first man I killed for my order, I cried and wept after trying to hold back the tears. But I told myself, I am merely acting upon a foretold destiny, navigating the whim of greater gods. My actions are simply pebbles. Pebbles that wash away in the surf as harmless as dust. Pebbles were once bedrock. As were you. Baltanos Havlik, the billhook. Havlik came to Lincolnshire as a young man 
with the great heathen army. Ah, a member of the order recognized Havelock's quick and ruthless intelligence and introduced him to the Crozier. As apprentice to the Crozier, Havelock gained stature and experience. He is now an established landholder and farmer in Lincoln from where he bribes the Shire soldiers to doing his bidding. To do his bidding. Interesting. There he is. And where can this man be found? He can be found in the marketplace or play music on stage in Grant Bridge, Grant Bridge here. Let's, uh, let's go pay a little visit to him, shall we? No, no, there's no way he's just fast travelling to there. Do this, hand the quest in and call it a session. Ooh, he's taking out some top names in this as well. was there before if you just didn't know it was him I don't know and if you just swung at him and killed him would it account for this the kill who knows see defeat. When Scops mention me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scop could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No, I'll leave your reputation as it is. Here, in the blood blackened mud. Magistrate Tatrid the Lear. Tatrid joined the order almost by accident. A Saxon who fought with Norse, with the Norse. He led a successful raid in Wessex during which he spared the life of three prisoners. One of those was the Crozier, who soon recruited Tatrid for his fighting skills and absolute determination. By dint of effort and will, the Lear recently rose to the rank of Magister. Who's the crazier? Who's the crazier then? Oh, the father. Who are you then? That's your people dealt with. You have no one. You know who these people are. All yours are dealt with. So you've got two magistrates left. We're getting close, guys. We are getting close. Well, let's go hand in this van being that I know.
reduce it. Please, calm down. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrolls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun. What did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wished to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return? Exactly. Yes. Hmm. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, he's always taking things without asking. What are you doing? Oh, God. Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. Oh, wow. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holge, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holge the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. She could you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play pranks, Holger? Pay the fee or be exiled? Great, y'all. If I may, I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. 
Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? I'm sorry. Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law. Whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. Well, that was too far. Greetings. Sigurd, leave me be, if you wish it. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? Alfgar is now Elderman of Lincolnshire. I believe he will be a good friend to our clan. Good. I hope he is a man we can trust. Man, we got some serious shit going on with Sigurd. I don't want to stick to his side this time, but I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. Anyway guys, I'm going to call this session there, but I hope you're enjoying this playthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you are, please like and subscribe, and if you've got something to say, put it in that comment section below. I'll catch you all in the next one.